Noah, you had a great opportunity to join the Angels last season, then make the roster this year. What's been your experience with this organization? Um, it's been it's been unreal, uh, you know, especially playing at home. Um, just getting that call last year that the Angels picked me up was, you know, honestly, it's it's been I don't know how many months, but it still hasn't sank in. It just it's crazy. I get to do what I love at home, so um, you know, I. I'm here. I'm taking advantage of the opportunity, you know, taking my uh, my job serious, and you know, I'd like to be doing this for a long time. Hopefully, you know, around these parts too. So, you know, I'm loving it. Kind of like a dream come true to play for the hometown team. Absolutely, yeah. You know, my entire family, all my friends were here yesterday. You know, it's just, you know, it's it's tough to do that. You know, so, you know, just it's just a blessing. Just an incredible time, honestly. Now, I think we all saw the potential this team had during spring training, but did you guys actually expect this kind of success this early in the season? I mean, you know, we all, if you walk in that clubhouse, um, you know, we all expect to win. You know, that's just uh, just the way this team is. So I guess it's not really much of a surprise. You know, it's it's great. You know, we're one of the best teams in baseball right now. So, you know, just, just the, the confidence, the... Uh, you know, the hard work everybody puts into it, you know, it's, it's not a surprise that we're doing so well. So, you know, it's, we're going to continue to go because this team is obviously, uh, you know, it's a hardworking team. Uh, we gel, you know, real, real nice. So, you know, it's something that a lot of, not a lot of teams got, and we know it, and we're just going to keep going with it. Now you guys are stacked top to bottom, but you're also witnessing history, and you're a part of history watching Shohei Otani. Now, as a pitcher, what's it been like to watch him do what he does on the mound, but then also at the plate? It's, man, it's pretty crazy. I mean, pitching on its own is, you know, really tough, and, you know, he's doing both at the same time, and, you know, just mastering both of them. He's just, he's, he's it's incredible to watch. It's crazy. Um, you know, I'm over here working on a couple pitches, and he's got 10, it seems like, and then he goes and hits, and it just... Just the work ethic too. It's just, it's it's crazy. He's uh he's special, you know, and just for him, he's such a good dude too. Just for him to just be so like down to earth and just so mellow, just so you know, talk to anyone, which is awesome. Uh, you know, it's it's special. It's pretty cool to be part of, honestly. And I heard he might have given you a little nickname. They call me the Fashion Monster. <laughs> I'll take that to my grave. <laughs> Did he uh, give any explanation? Well, yeah, during spring training, I was coming in with a. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I didn't think it was my A-game outfit, but, yeah. you know, I, I was coming in, and he, like, always dug it. So he started calling me Fashion Monster, and then he told me about this song, this really popular Japanese song called Fashion Monster. Okay. And he said, you got to use this as your walkout, and I still, I'm, I'm trying to find the guts to, to use it as my walkout. But, you have uh, to do it. I think I will. You know what? That's my next walkout. Okay. Next Next outing. Next outing, Fashion Monster would be blasted here. It's <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be funny though. It's gonna be uh, hard not to crack a smile up there when it comes on though. So. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now speaking, since you are the Fashion Monster and you have a great flow going on, there's a lot of good hairstyles on this team. You got yours, Middleton's red hair. We got Mike Trout's faux hawk. Who has the best flow in your mind on the team? Um, well, obviously I do. So we're, let's go to number two, <laughs> straight to number two. So the top with them, the top guy in there would probably be oh, I mean it's not just I guess Keenan just because it's out there uh -huh. you know looking like hot Cheetos looking like Ronald <laughs> McDonald up there but uh you know it's I like his confidence you know I like that he's wearing mm -hmm. that you know especially the the uh the red angels color so that's that's pretty cool you know he's showing pride cares about the team I appreciate that I appreciate you sharing these new nicknames between the Fashion Monster and Spicy Hot Cheetos or just Cheetos? Mm, spicy, definitely spicy. spicy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, Maybe a little Tabatillo in there, too. Ooh, I'm digging it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Alex.